This instructional video will outline the options available to configure the Infinity Analyze application layout to suit your preference. This is another video tutorial in the Infinity Analyze series. In this installment, we'll take a look at the following topics. Enabling toolbars and auxiliary windows. Collapsible camera controls. Dragging screen items. The status bar. And toggling access to the field group. When Infinity Analyze is first installed on a computer, it is configured to display in what is called simple mode. This represents the minimal set of menu items and camera controls that you need to get started, without the additional clutter involved with displaying too many options. You can return to simple mode whenever necessary. Simple mode is displayed currently on the screen. You'll notice that the capture control and camera control panels are exposed while the remaining options are collapsed. Let's begin by looking at the Help Settings menu where with 6.0 software we introduce the new Interface tab. The Interface tab is a nice way to access the toolbars and auxiliary windows functions individually but you can also toggle directly between Simple Mode and the Enable All function which turns on all of these options by clicking on Enable All, you can see that we get the Help Desk, Database, Measurement, Histogram and Photometry Auxiliary windows displayed at the bottom of the screen. At the same time, we've extended the display panels on the left-hand side and turned on all the toolbar options across the top and on the right. We'll click OK to hide this dialog. Any item on the screen can be dragged or resized. For example, Initially, you may want to have the Help Desk window visible at all times as it provides context-sensitive help and instructions on the different control functions that you might invoke. But once you're familiar with the application, you may elect to either hide this or to remove it from your display to save screen real estate. Dragging the bars on either side allows you to extend or compress the database, measurement, histogram, and photometry auxiliary windows. For example, we'll get rid of the photometry auxiliary window as well. The camera controls and capture controls were available in simple mode while capture options, time lapse, image orientation, light source, and camera control extended functions were hidden. Each of these individual items can be collapsed simply by clicking on the small triangle. This imaging control function allows you to select between displaying the panel on the left hand side or displaying images that would be stored in the field group. The positions of the toolbars can be moved simply by dragging them and even toolbars which are displayed on the side can be moved elsewhere in the dialog. The other place that the access to the layout is available is under the view menu where we have toolbars and auxiliary windows. The flyout menu shows all the toolbars in this case currently turned on and the auxiliary windows, most of them turned on with the exception of help desk and photometry. The downside of this approach is that each item can only be selected with one drop down access of the menus. So you have to keep returning to this menu structure to enable the specific item. For example, turning on help desk and now returning to turn it off again. To get individual access to the status bar, it's accessible from the view menu. The status bar is in the lower right hand corner of the display and is the number of black rectangles that give information on mouse position, RGB values, zoom factor, etc. Toggling the status bar from the view menu enables you to turn it on or off. That concludes the video tutorial on the Infinity Analyze layout options. Take a look at any of the other video tutorials in this series for additional information.